Hello Romies, welcome to my channel. My name is Aisha and I'm going to show you how I reorganized my catch-all closet. So here's the before picture of the closet and it's not too bad, but just a little unorganized. I have a lot of stuff in here, but it doesn't look like it, but I really do. It's not only my catch-all closet, but it's also my craft closet. And I have a lot of things in here. I have stuff for sewing, uh, random pens, markers, crayons, and thumbtacks, batteries, yarn, roller blades, two of them, two pairs, um, all of my Christmas wrapping, decor. Uh, I didn't show you, but I have some photos down there too. Um, some folders, envelopes, tape, glue gun, glues, uh, command strips. I mean, it's just a random closet. I got some purses at the top and some board games. Like I said, it's a lot of stuff in it, but it don't look like it. So here I bought these two two-pack drawer organizers as well as these two five drawer organizers that I got from Walmart. I will leave a link in the description box below. All right guys, and the after look of my catch-all closet. I did not focus or change anything about the right side of the closet. I really focused on the left side and utilizing that vertical space there. So I'm gonna show you a look inside this these two organizers. I have batteries and a battery charger in the first drawer. I have earrings in the second drawer. After that, I have chargers, electronics in that drawer. And this, this is, I don't know what to call it. It's just junk right now. I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. This is my sewing drawer. I have my ruler, calculator, staples in that drawer. And then I have my pens, crayons, highlighters in that one. This one is glues, tapes, paper, and then my folders and envelopes in the bottom, the bottom drawer. I might go back and add labels to it. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do labels? Should I not do labels? I don't know. But what do you guys think? I think this is a better use of the closet. I think it's more organized and I'm utilizing that vertical space. I now have room to put maybe some of my kids' toys in here, uh, some cleaning supplies or more stuff that don't have homes. But I really do like it. Again, this is the before and after of the closet. And with this change, I was able to add those earrings and chargers and electronics to the closet. They were not there before. So I'm excited about that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to press the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. And if you have not already subscribed to the DIY Sleeping Quarters channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Talk to you later.